Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Hi. Is someone there? Tania Karen? Hi, teacher. Tengo a Tania Karen, a Don Gerardo, a Tania Daniela, Cristela y Marina. Hi, teacher. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and call the attendance for the tan poquito. Vamos a ver acá. Vamos a ver, voy a pasar primero la asistencia y luego nos vamos a ir aquí a escribir estos chicos también, que veo que no han, no se han conectado. ¿Vieron el libro? ¿Vieron las, lo, el vocabulario que les puse ahí? Yes, teacher. Yes, está fácil, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Les sirvió? <risa> sí, solo que hay que seguirlo analizando más. <risa> ah, sí, claro, no se lo van a aprender un día. No se sí. Ahí necesita mucha práctica ¿sí? y mucho estudio. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see Annalisa Valle de Molina. De presente. De presente. Okay, Brenda y Amilet. Estrada Torres, Daniela María Ramos Ramos, presente, thank you, Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez, Edwin Leonel, Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario, Fátima Joana, Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero, presente teacher. Yeah, eh, Aide de la Paz Santo Vázquez. Jaira Donis Mártir Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Juana Cristela Eusera García. Juana Cristela. Karen Jane Cruz Valiente. Presente. Katia Carolina Parada Tremo. Miriam Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arelí Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Present. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Presente. Thank you very much. So we have there our class for tonight. Juana Cristela acá levantó la mano también. Dejen poner la asistencia a Juana. Ahora, recuérdense, chicos, encender sus cámaras, por favor. Nos están llamando la atención porque la cámara no está encendida. Enciendan sus cámaras, ¿ok? Esta noche solo una persona, que de hecho no está aquí todavía, Una persona por, fuer por motivo de fuerza mayor no va a poder hacer su cámara, pero ya habló con un safor. Right? Pero los demás tenemos que encender nuestra cámara para poder estar en clase también. Okay? Ahora, we're going to continue here with our class today. I'm glad to tell you that we are in class number 13. Ya vamos por la clase número 13, right? del módulo 2. Right? We are in class 13, module two. And today's class is present continuous with WH questions. But we have a lot of practice to do. 
First of all, we are going to practice as well. Yesterday we were working with a with a small conversation, right? Estuvimos practicando con una conversación. La mayoría terminó. Según tengo entendido, ahí la mayoría terminó. Vamos a ver acá. ¿Hay algún grupo completo? Eh, ¿Con quién estaba usted, Teresa? Con Gerardo en Verónica. With Gerardo en Verónica. Entonces aquí está. Gerardo está Verónica. Muy bien. Vamos a comenzar. Ok. Eh, solamente que le voy a enviar la, la conversación a, 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 quiero ver, a Verónica o, o si a puede. Teresa, Teresa. Sería. Ah. A Teresa. ¿Cuál es su número, Teresa, para enviárselo para que pueda 70, ver la conversación? Ahí envía el chat. Ahí envía el chat, Nigerita. Ahí la va a descargar ella. Es que yo estoy desde la compu y, y tengo la llamada en el, en el teléfono. Espérame, quiero ver si Solamente váyase al, 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 a su compu y ponga web WhatsApp y ahí le va a aparecer rapidito. Vamos a ver. Ajá. ¿Qué otro grupo Ahorita. está listo? Vamos a ver. Bueno, esperamos a Gerardo y su grupo. Ahí está. I will, uh, I will to start. I will start. I will start. Sorry. Um, good evening, uh, Teresa. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm sorry, Veronica. I am working tomorrow at 7 a.m. And you, Teresa, what is planning to do in the morning? I am planning to check email in the book. In the morning, after I am having to supervise, supervise the project of the work, and you, what to do? What do you do? You do. I, pardon, sorry. What do you do? Don't hurt. Uh, I am. I am leaving work. Uh, my schedule, my schedule is both. Uh, I am leaving work at 7 a.m. and later I am sleeping until midday. Uh, and you, Veronica, what the first uh, thing do you do? I am taking my breakfast at 7 a.m. and later I am verifying my email address. And you, Gerardo. What is your schedule at work? I always I always start to work at 10 p.m. until uh, 11 p.m. I am taking a break or I am reviewing the previous class. What do you do on the weekend, Teresa? I try to rest to rest all day because I I just have one one day off. This is mm, uh, the conversation teacher. Okay, very good. Hit them an applause. Very good. I'm just uh, have a question with the okay when you say and you Teresa. What is planning to do in the morning? How can you improve that question, guys? 
If we say, what are you planning to do in the morning? What are you planning to do in the morning? Okay, write it down. I need to come here. I'm planning to check. I'm planning to check my emails in the morning. After that, I am supervising. I am supervising the work or the project of the work. And you, what are you doing, Gerardo? What are you doing? Recuérdense que no podemos hacer la mezcolanza de simple present y present progressive. Cuando decimos que los vamos a utilizar juntos, no, en, no necesariamente estamos hablando de la estructura, sino más bien de utilizarlos en una conversación en la cual tengamos las, las dos funciones eh, trabajando. ¿okay? Estamos hablando, la clase nos dice que vamos a ver simple present versus present continuous. Right? Y si decimos, what do you do? No es correcto. ¿okay? Porque tenemos do. Right, como auxiliar. Y el do como auxiliar nos sirve para el simple person. Entonces, ¿por cuál reemplazaríamos do? Por are. What are you doing? Right? What are you doing? Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Gerardo's group. Verónica, thank you. Teresa, thank you. Ana Valle, ¿quién estaba con usted, Ana? Who was with you? Who is in It the was... Good evening was Jonathan and Daniela. Jonathan is here and Daniela is here too. Here we are here. Okay, excellent. So um, we not we didn't finish the conversation, but um, only we have so a little part. Practice what you have. Okay, practice, don't worry, practice what you have. Practiquemos okay. lo que tienen, no hay problema. Veamos. Okay, Ana and Teresa, eh, we're going to start. Um... Daniela, Jonathan. Perdón, Daniela. <laughs> Te voy a cobrar por cada vez que me cambies el nombre. Por favor. Siga, siga, siga. Te quitan el puesto. Daniela, Daniela. <risa> Mi tacaña que fuera, fíjate. Lo siento, perdón. Espérenme, déjeme. Tengo la conversación. ¿La tienes tú, Ana, por ahí? Yes, but if, eh, everyone has his part. Yeah. Oh. I don't, I cannot Who's see. Tell, telling me, hi, Anna, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Anna, what are, what are you doing tomorrow? Hi, Jonathan. Well, I have to attend my, I have to attend my clients. Ah, that's it, very good. They are new clients. Well, they are new clients and I, Showing them the products. So what about you, Daniela? What are you doing right now? I'm replaying emails and attending clients. Very good. And you, Jonathan, what are you doing? I am planning, uh, I met with my boss uh, um, tomorrow uh, in the week. Well, I see, how often do you have meeting with your boss, Jonathan. Oh, very good. Uh, I have minutes uh, with my boss uh, one time a week. What about you, este, Ana? <laughs> I have meeting with my boss every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Creo que hasta Qué aquí mono es. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, very good. So we have there, right, another conversation. Excellent. Very good. Now let's see Karen's group is ready. Yes, uh, with Marina. With Marina. Just two? Hello. Yes. Yes. Only. Okay. Um, <laughs> Good morning, Karen. Uh, what are you doing right now? 
So when I told my Good morning, Marina. Well, I am planning a meet with sales person. Oh, the meet with new sales person? Where is the meeting? Here in San Salvador. Very well. What time does the meeting start? At 8 a.m. Can you help me? Uh, yes, I can, of course. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Right? We say thank you. Excellent. Excellent job. Now we have there, right? Our uh, conversation teacher. Okay, yes. Yes, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's see who else is going to participate. We have this group. Sandra Maricela, who was in your group? Teacher, uh, with Aide. With Aide. Aide is not here. Euseda, ¿con quién estaba usted? Teacher, yo no trabajé en la conversación, me salí, me tuve que salir ah. antes de que terminara la clase. Mire, qué galán. <risa> me salió. <risa> ok, y usted, eh, Joana, estuvo con Jair, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. Sí, ¿Solo con él? Yes. Yes, ok. <risa> ok, very good. So, let's go ahead, veamos ellos, eh, entran después Sandra y Fátima para que ustedes compartan su conversación, ¿ok? Now, let's continue here. Well, this was the part of the conversation, right? We already did that. Now, yesterday we were talking about simple present and present continuous. In the book, you can find this information. En el libro ustedes pueden encontrar esta información, ¿ok? En la cual hablamos del simple present y del present continuous en el cual vemos que hay, eh, how can I say, like differences between them, right? We have there, we use the simple present for general information. We use the present continuous for ongoing actions, right? But I have here, let me show you. I have here, can you see this, this picture? Oh, yes, I I okay. In this picture, we have like exactly the points that we are going to differentiate, right? It's a bit more in depth. Un poquito más así como adentrado lo que estamos viendo, right? Del presente simple y el presente continuo. Right? ¿Cuáles son sus puntos importantes? Y eso quiero que me pongan atención porque, y se puede explicar bien que voy a decir español ahorita, Right? Ayer en las conversaciones, en todas las conversaciones, en todas, en todas, en todas, right? todos decían, es que quiero decir tal cosa. Right? Y lo decían en español y es lo que ustedes estaban haciendo era traducir del español al inglés. Okay? Ahora, ¿qué les cuento? Que las estructuras son totalmente distintas. Right? Tenemos equivalentes. Equivalentes quiere decir que no es igual. O sea, que lo más cercano posible al idioma. ¿Por qué? Porque español es más difícil que inglés. Right? Inglés, sí, nos va a costar. Claro que sí, porque todos ya estamos grandes. Todos hemos aprendido inglés ya grandes. Yo lo aprendí cuando ya estaba grande. Right? Entonces, todo nos va a costar. Right? Si no practicamos, es mentira. No lo vamos a aprender. Pero, ¿qué pasa? Tenemos que ver las funciones del idioma. ¿Para qué lo vamos a utilizar? Por ejemplo, alguien me decía eh, ayer, ¿cómo digo que yo hice yo, si usted hizo algo, ¿es ese presente? ¿Presente continuo o es pasado? Es pasado. Es pasado. Entonces, no lo podemos traducir. Entonces, pasaron ahí en esa, en esa eh, pregunta que querían hacer. Pasaron ahí como cinco minutos. Que querían saber cómo lo iban a decir, pero no podían porque no lo hemos visto en clase. ¿Eh? Entonces, tenemos que fijarnos. ¿eh? ¿Qué quiero decir? Quiero hablar de rutinas, simple present. Quiero hablar de actividades que están pasando en estos momentos, present progressive. Right? Y ahí vamos siguiendo las estructuras. 
¿Se fijan las estructuras que les pongo siempre? Como formulitas. Siempre siguen esas fórmulas. Siguen las fórmulas. Cuando ustedes siguen las fórmulas, porque así se escribe. No le metan más palabras, porque ahorita estamos de principiante. Cuando ya nosotros nos sentamos 100% seguros de lo que estamos diciendo, ya le vamos metiendo otras palabras, otras... Eh, esas palabras que nos encontramos en las canciones, en los videos, en las películas, ¿right? Porque ya nosotros ya tenemos sólida una estructura del idioma, entonces le vamos agregando poco a poco, ¿right? Ahora, veamos acá. Tenemos present simple. It says here that we are going to use it for, right here, it says for repeated actions or habits which we do regularly, right? That's one. Now, can you read number two, Fatima? Text. Six arrangements, schedules, events, um, a for example, is, for example, for example, okay, timetables in the future. Timetables in the future, very good. Right, timetables. ¿Quieren las timetables? Right, las timetables son los calendarios. Right, o esas, 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 esas eh, tablas que ponemos en las oficinas con las fechas y las horas que vamos a hacer las actividades. Right, como las agendas, timetables. Right. Now, continue reading, Karen, uh, thanks. Things in general which are always true. Very good. Things in general which are always true. And the last one, permanent situation. These are the uses. Si usted quiere decir algo así, debe utilizar simple person, right? Then we continue with present continuous or Present progressive, the same, right? We have the first one, please read, Sandra. Temporary or new habits. New habits, very good. Continue there, Teresa. Temporary action. Uh, Trends. 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 Situation. Situations. Very good. Continue, Anna. Actions happening now or in the immediate future. Very good. Continue, Gerardo. Definite fixed plans in the future. Very good. Definite fixed plans in the future. Very good, Definite. Gerardo. Definite. Definite. Planes que ya están arreglados para el futuro, right? Continue there, Jonathan. Situations. Situation which are slowly changing. Situations which are slowly changing. And the last one, Marina. Repeat action, irrit irritating the speakers. Irritating the speaker, very good. Now, these are the, 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 the differences. Estas son las diferencias, ¿ok? Entonces, este cuadro lo vamos a utilizar cuando nosotros estamos resolviendo ejercicios, ¿ok? Ahora, well, la última que nos hace falta y que no hemos visto es repeated actions irritating the speaker. Se lo voy a mostrar acá, right? Before we continue. I wanted to show you this, right? We use the present continuous, and listen to this, we use the present continuous with the word always to complain or express surprise or irritation about something that happens frequently. Okay? Es algo que se repite. Something that happens frequently is repeated, repeated, repeated. So if I am using, right, simple pre uh, present continuous or present progressive, I'm using present continuous and I am oh, irritated, right? Or I want to show surprise. I need to use the word always, right? Teacher, pero always es un adverse of frequency. Lo utilizamos para el simple present. Sí. Pero en este caso lo podemos utilizar con el present continuous to show irritation 
surprised or that you are complaining. Complain means quejarse, right? Now, look at the example. She doesn't get on with the manager. He's always criticizing her, right? Ella, get on significa llevarse bien. Ella no se lleva bien con su supervisor. Right? Siempre la está criticando. He's always criticizing her. I can say, for example, here, um, just an example, okay? Solo un ejemplo. Um, Ana, I don't like your attitude. You are always on your phone. You are always sending messages on your phone. Yeah. Okay. You are always sending messages on your phone. No es cierto. Eso no es bien. <laughs> okay. So, so, Ana, I don't like your attitude. So, I am irritated. Right? So, I need to use that. I need to use always plus present progressive to express, mm -mm, I don't like that. No me gusta. Me irrita que hagan esa actividad, right? Es algo que a ustedes no les parece, right? Or we can say, Gerardo, you are always eating in the class, right? So irritation, no es indirecta, right? It's just an example, okay? So <laughs> you are always drinking coffee in the class, right? It's something that annoys you. ¿Se entiende cuando utilizamos la palabrita always o el present progressive y el cambio drástico que le va a dar al, al significado de la oración? ¿Sí? ¿Se entiende? Ok, very good. Now, can you give me an example? Uh -huh. Veamos. You are always angry with me. Very good, very good. But you need to use Present progressive. <laughs> ah, you're always angry with me? Why? Because I'm late. <laughs> Because I am coming late to the class. I am always coming late to the class. I, I always uh -huh. coming late. Uh -huh. To the class. Very good. That's a good example. Right? Very good. ¿Cuál sería otro? Otro ejemplo? Ya Ana ya dio ese ejemplo. Escriba un ejemplo utilizando always, pero que se note que hay una irritación en la, o una sorpresa o que se están quejando de algo. Marina, ¿ya te ¿Qué pasa? ¿No? No, teacher. Pero ya casi. Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. You're always are giving me flowers. You're always giving me flowers. You're always giving me flowers. Exactly. <laughs> Because that's a surprise. Very good. Exactly. Very good. Cuando es surprise, vamos a utilizar el signo de exclamación al final. Stephanie is always sleeping in the class. Very good, Fatima. Right? Stephanie is always sleeping in the class. Can you step on your name, Stephanie? In a self, in a second, teacher. Eh... Se le coloca always en lugar del verbo, siempre se le coloca el verbo. Por ejemplo, no sé si está correcto decir, she is always calling me in the morning when I am sleeping. Por ejemplo, está correcto. Y tiene always está y correcto. tiene el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo en su ejemplo? Entonces, el, el she, eh, después va el verbo be, que va a la parte del subject, ¿verdad? Y después va el always, o rarely. Exacto. No, aquí solo always. Aquí solo vamos a utilizar always. Solo always. Ah, always. Ajá. You are always joining in the class. Solo leerlo, pero cada vez. Sí, John in the class. Yes. 
Apago la cámara, Pablo. David is always eating in the class. Very good. Excellent. Solo always, solo always. Porque always, ¿por qué solo always? Porque nos está diciendo que es algo que se repite, que se repite, que se repite, que se repite, que se repite. It's a repeated action, right? You are always sleeping. Yes, my husband told me that today in the afternoon. Silvia, you're always sleeping, baby. And I was like, yes, that's true. In the afternoon, it's true. Uh -huh. Teacher, yes. for example, she always getting in the morning in office. Okay, yes, but that would be an activity that you do every day. What qué irritación estamos expresando ahí? Tenemos que irritarnos. Ah, okay. Tenemos que mostrar lo que no nos gusta porque lo están haciendo los okay. right? For example, I can say, you are always eating my, my snacks from the fridge. Okay. Diego, aquí, uh, Sandra, ¿cuál es el verbo to be que va con Diego? Diego. Is. Diego is all, ok. Dame que ya perdí el ejemplo. Eso bien, ok. Diego is always writing, solamente con una T, writing on the wall. On the wall. On the wall. Okay, teacher, thanks. Thank you. Anna? He's always joking. Joking in the class. Joe, joking in the class. Okay. It's that correct, the way that I wrote it. You no, know, I put it there, the correct way. In the chat. Look at the chat. Mm -hmm. Joking without C. Yes. That is correct. Ingrid and Nancy are always talking out loud. Talking, you can say, talking loud. Talking out loud. In the office. He always. Uh, Marina, ¿dónde está su verbo? No tiene ni verbo to be, ni verbo de acción. Mm, hungry. Hungry es un adjetivo. Mm, uh -huh. I am hungry. I need food. Uh -huh. Thank you. Bye. Is, oh, hungry is an adjective. Okay. Karen, what, what verb to be conjugation are you going to use? And look at what it says on your example. So you have your, oops, sorry. My cell phone gets a glitch, right? Now, so you have your cell phone and you are calling yourself. I, all, I am always calling me. Usted va y se marca usted solo. No, sería solo eh, always call, calling me. Uh -huh. Me is me. Me. O sea, siempre me llama. ¿Cómo? Eh, como yo quise poner, siempre me llaman cuando estoy en clase, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿quién la llama? Ay. <risa> ¿Usted sola se llama? Ah, no. Usted dice, ay, usted dice, yo. ¿Quién la llama? Hay que ver. Entonces tendré que poner. No, ¿quién la llama? Esa es la pregunta. ¿Quién la llama a usted? No, o sea, puede ser cualquier persona que me llame cuando estoy en clase. Ajá, ¿y cuál, cuál sería el, el, el sujeto que usted va a dar en ese caso? Ok, always. Eh, sería you. Ok, utilizamos you, sería usted. O ustedes. Ajá. Ok, ahora Entonces, después de you. you. Ok. 
What is the conjugation you, of the verb be? You, you are always calling me for cell phone in class. Very good. By cell phone in class. By right. cell phone in class. Very good. Okay. Very good. Yeah. You are always calling me on my cell phone, on my cell phone in class. Very good. Got it. Excellent. Now we go with. Aquí va su ejemplo en el. He's all no Gerardo. ¿Dónde está el progresivo ahí? Utilizó always, pero no en la primera, progresivo. En la primera sí la mandé incorrecta porque tendría que ser letting, ¿verdad? Es letting, como letting. Ok, pero ¿dónde está la irritación ahí? O sea, en el momento que dice siempre me está, eh, o siempre, o sea, la molesta, digo yo, que se salga, no sé. ¿Y qué es la acción? Eh, always let the food. ¿A qué se refiere con let the food? Deja, o sea, deja comida en el almuerzo. No se lo come todo. A eso me refiero. Ok, so it's living. Ah, living. Ah, como living. en el de abajo. He is yeah. always leaving food at lunch. He's always leaving food without eating. Sin comer. Uh. Without eating. Eating at lunch. We are always leaving the class. We are always leaving the class. Of the mm. class, no, the class. The class, okay, thanks. Welcome. You're always calling me by cell phone in class. Very good, Karen. Qué bonito. Okay, excellent. So we have a lot of examples right there. Solamente con eso, miren. Very good, continuemos. What else do we have here, right? We have in the present continuous, do you remember that I told you that there are some verbs that we are not going to use, right? Hay algunos verbos que no vamos a utilizar. ¿Cuáles eran esos verbos, Juana? ¿Qué verbos no utilizábamos, right? ¿Qué tipo de verbos? Uh -huh. I can help you. Yes, thank you. Los verbos que no utilizamos son aquellos que no se pueden generar una expresión. Exactly, very good. Those are the verbs that we are not going to use. Los irregulares, sí. Los irregulares los vamos a utilizar. Muchos irregulares. Y aquí muchos regulares e irregulares. Como decía Gerardo, hay muchos. Los verbos que no utilizamos acá son aquellos verbos que nos están expresando right? solamente emociones, solamente nos están expresando eh, sentimientos. Right? Esos son los que no vamos a utilizar. Right? Of course, we don't usually use them. Usualmente no los utilizamos. Okay? We usually don't use them. And we have some verbs are almost never. ¿Se recuerdan qué significaba almost never? Casi no. Teacher. Casi no. I have a question. En ese caso de, por ejemplo, amor, no se puede eh, utilizar como loving, porque no. es, un, es algo que se siente. Pero sí se puede expresar el sentir. I feel. I feel in love for you. Porque está diciendo que yes, está sintiendo, ¿verdad? But that is another thing. Sí, esa es otra estructura. Right? Uh -huh. And usually you're just going to say, I love you. That's the only thing you're going to say. Right? Richard. Yes, you understand? Hola. Hay otra, oh. hay otra expresión, igual que la que sabe Gerardo, eh, que también podría asociarse. No sé si está correcta. I am loving you. No, that is incorrect. Okay. That is incorrect. Now, if you look at this, right, look at the example, right? It says here, right? You say, I love you, not I'm loving you. I'm loving you is incorrect, right? Now, if you listen to some of the songs, recuérdense que las canciones no están hechas para aprender gramática. Hay unas que sí, tienen una gramática súper linda en sus líricas, 
right? Pero no están hechos para eso, están hechos para darnos rhythm, ritmo en las canciones, notas bonitas. Entonces, a veces los que escriben las canciones utilizan estructuras que están incorrectas para que suene bien en la canción. Simple y sencillamente, right? Ahora. Then we have, these are examples of verbs that we are not going to use. Vamos a evitar estos verbos, okay? We have agree, be, actually, let me see. Voy a escoger a tres personas. Los demás pueden repetir con el micrófono apagado para que vayamos practicando pronunciación de otros verbos que podemos utilizar en simple present, okay? Now. Eh, Gerardo, help me out with pronunciation. Agree. Agree. Be. Be. Believe. Believe. Belong. Belong. Care. Care. Very good. Karen, repeat with me. Forget. Forget. Hate. Hey. Hear. Hear. No. No. Very good. Jonathan, help me. Like. Like. Love. Love. Mean. Mean. Mind. Mind. Very good. Anna, help me. Notice. Notice. Own. Own. Remember. Remember. Him. Sim. Very good. Teresa, tell me. Suppose. Suppose. Understand. Suppose. Understand. Understand. Want. Want. Wish. Wish. Very good. Now, these are verse. Nosotros vamos a tratar de quitar de nuestra, de nuestra, de nuestro vocabulario. Cuando estemos utilizando present progress. ¿Ok? Now, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de estos verbos? Sí, teacher. Eh, por ejemplo, understand. He visto en algunas frases que, que, que utilizan understanding. Porque eso está progress. incorrecto. Sí. Uh, Usted siempre dice, I understand. I understand Entiendo. or I get it. I get it. Exacto. La, la, palabra, la forma informal, yeah, I get it. Uh, okay. Right? Usted está hablando con su jefe o con sus compañeros de trabajo. I understand what you're saying. Okay. Una otra frase que vimos, I see. I see. Entiendo. I see. Very good, Gerardo. Another question. Interesting. Forget. Forget. What happens with forget? ¿Qué pasa con We forget? cannot forget. It. No, forget. We cannot mm -hmm. use forget. No. Why? Por ejemplo, Because olvidamos. In the room? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Porque está en la regla. No lo utilizamos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Recuérdense que hay muchos. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Mucho inglés informal afuera. ¿Ok? Nosotros estamos aprendiendo inglés para el trabajo. Entonces estamos aprendiendo inglés prescriptivo, gramatical, para que nosotros vayamos y escribamos nuestras cartas, documentos, reportes, informes, lo que ustedes quieran, bien escritos, bien hechos. Y a la misma forma vamos hablando y vamos a ir hablando de una forma formal. ¿Ok? Ya cuando ya vayamos aprendiendo más, ya es cuando vamos a ir aprendiendo más eh, palabras informales. Ahí nos dicen de la calle, no, informales. Informales es lo que yo utilizo, por ejemplo, cuando hablo con mi esposo en la casa, hablo inglés informal, right Cuando hablo con ustedes, tengo que hablar inglés formal. Right? Tengo que acordarme de las estructuras para que ustedes se las aprendan también. Okay? Very good. Ana. Uh, I listen a song who said, I'm in love. I'm in love. Yes, that is correct. I am in love. Mm -hmm. And that is a, a state. 
right? You mean that is a state. Es un estado, right? When you say I am in love, right? What you're actually saying, look at the chat, everyone. I am in love, right? I can say I am in love with my husband, right? I am in love with my Eso husband. Estar es, es, in love significa enamorado. Right? And I in heard, love. excuse me, and I heard another song that I really like. The, and the song said, All my loving. All my love. All my loving, I will send to you. All my love, I will send to you. Uh -huh. Love. All my loving, a saber por qué dice loving, all my loving. Love me like this? Yes. No, so in that case, it, uh, we will need to listen to the song to see what it means. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's not present progressive, that's for sure, right? No es present progressive. ¿Se recuerdan cuando yo les dije que borraron la palabra gerund, gerundio? Okay. Jaron, de la tablita de present progressive, borraron esa palabra, ¿verdad? Jaron, ¿por qué? Porque los Jaron son diferentes. Los Jarons no es present progressive, right? Un Jaron se puede utilizar al inicio de una oración. Por ejemplo, si yo digo eh, el verbo fumar es smoke, right? Pero si yo quiero usarlo como gerundio o como Jaron, smoking is not good for my body. Smoking is not good for my body. Ahí estoy utilizando smoke, right? Como gerundio, no como present progressive. Pero va con ing. Entonces, cuando estamos hablando de present progressive, estos verbos no van en, en gerundio, van con ing, que es totalmente distinto de con gerundio, right? Very good. Sí, Brenda. En ese caso, eh, la primera Brenda. Primero habla y luego usted. Ajá. Ok. Que la antoy a la mano. <ríe> Sorry. Sí, Brenda. Ah, pues no, la levantó de chiste. Eh, siga, Gerardo. <ríe> O sea que para entender lo del gerundio, si no va con la estructura eh, y lo encuentro en una oración, es un gerundio, como por ejemplo, help me send in the email. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo fue? Repita. Como el, el presente continuo tiene una estructura, ¿verdad? Que es el ¿Sí? verbo, eh, que es el sujeto, el verbo y el... Y el y el Buenas verbo noches. ING. Entonces, Permita, me voy a apagar el micrófono a Jonathan. Ajá, continúe. Ese es el presente continuo en esa estructura, pero si ya lo ocupo, digamos, solo el, la palabra con el ING al comienzo de una oración, eh, de, ahí ya sería un gerundio. Exacto. Por ejemplo, help me sending the email. El help sending. Me. Tell me sending. sending the email. Sending ya sería un gerundio. El gerundio, ¿verdad? Exacto. Ah. Ahí está correcto. Y no está al inicio de la oración, está en medio. Pero ya no vamos a hablar de gerundio, ¿ok? Porque la clase de present progress es de simple present. ¿Ok? Gerundio es para avanzar. Por eso es que no debe de estar en el libro de, 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 de beginners. So, uh -huh. Perdón. Brenda dice que quiere un ejemplo con Norris. Notice is realize, darse cuenta de algo. For example, I just notice that my computer is broken. I notice that my computer is broken. Me di cuenta. Right? Me di cuenta que mi computadora no sirve. Right? No utilizo notice con present progressive. Right? Notice significa darse cuenta. Okay? Very good. Thank you, Brenda. Now, let's continue. Continuemos acá. So we have this verse. Copien los verbos. Tomen la captura. Traten de no utilizarlos en el present progressive. Okay? 
Now we're going to continue here with the next exercise. Who's in the It says here. It says here that we're going to use, right, for this exercise, oh, present progressive only, right? Present progressive only. And this exercise is on page 30 something. Let me see. This exercise is on page 32. Page 32. Page 32. Page 32. Right? Now, the first exercise says Thomas print out. Thomas is printing out the contract. Thomas is printing out the contract. Right? So what would you have for number two? Veronica? Sherry is meeting with the bus right now. With the bus or with the bus? With the bus. With the bus right now. Porque bus es un medio de transporte. It's a means of transportation. Okay. Sherry okay. is meeting with the bus right now. Perfect, Veronica. What do you have for number three, Juana Cristela? Is taking care of everything, everything. Very good. He is taking care of everything. Repeat. Taking care. Taking care. Okay. He is taking care of everything. Very good, uh, Juana. Let's continue with next. Eh, Marina. I. Eh, I paying attention to destruction. I paying attention to destruction. ¿Qué me le falta? Mira los ejemplos de arriba. I am. I am paying attention to destructions. Okay, very good. I am paying attention to destructions. Sandra. She, she is preparing the briefing. She is preparing the briefing. The briefing. The briefing. Very good. And let's continue there. Please help me. Daniela? They are sending the product to the warehouse. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Very good. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Excellent. Do you have questions about this exercise? Yes, briefing. Mm -hmm. Briefing is, for example, right? Tomorrow, I am going to give a big presentation, right? But first, I am preparing like a summary, a briefing that I have only the main point of my presentation, right? The briefing, right? My Como resume. Yes, my presentation is one hour. The briefing is only one page. The briefing is oh, como un resumen. Okay, okay. Uh, lo más importante de mi presentación. ¿Qué significa qué, Brenda? ¿Qué significa? Warehouse. A warehouse, it's a place for example, uh, do you know Super Selectos, right? In Super Selectos, you can see when you get there all the products, but in the back, 
in the back, they have a warehouse. A warehouse is like a room where they put all the products, like all the products in boxes, right? That's a warehouse. They put everything there and then they take the products from the warehouse and they present it to the public. Right? So like warehouse, warehouse is bodega. Very good, Anna, you're on fire today. Excellent. Very good. Another question? Okay, Brenda, thank you. Hay preguntas? Ya no? Seguimos? Sigamos entonces. Right? Now we're gonna do a small exercise here. This is on page we already did here. I want you to look at the book, right? In the book, right? We are in our book right now. We already did exercise four, right? And it says here, write activities you usually do on a Monday morning, right? So let's see very quickly. Esto lo vamos a hacer bien rápido. Porque hemos hecho actividades que usualmente hacemos así que todos los días. So tell me one activity that you usually do in the morning on Mondays, Joanna. Take a shower. Okay. Very good. I take a shower. Okay. I take a shower. Veronica, tell me another activity that you do in the morning. On Monday morning. I, I eat breakfast. I eat breakfast. Tell me another activity, Gerardo. I am receiving my briefing on Monday at 7 a.m. before I leave. Listen to the question. Tell me an activity that you usually do on a Monday morning. We are not using present progressive. I always uh, cook uh, my breakfast. Okay, I always. In the morning. Cook mm -hmm. my breakfast. In the I wash my teeth. Sería oh. una. Yeah, absolutely. I wash my teeth. But I will say instead of wash, I, I brush. brush. I brush my teeth. Es <laughs> I brush my teeth. Very good. Right? Did you put your activities? If you want to have activities? Fácil, ¿verdad? Así, rapidito. Actividades, cuando dicen qué actividades usualmente haces. What activities do you usually do? We use simple present. Right? Only simple present. Okay. Any questions about this exercise? Preguntas acerca de este ejercicio. ¿No? ¿Ya lo llenaron en su libro? Very well. Very, very well. Now, let's continue. Si ya lo llenaron en su libro, ¿puedo borrar esto acá? Asumo el silencio como un sí y continúo. Thank you. Now, we're going to do this later, right? I want you to pay attention. Eso lo vamos a hacer luego. Está bien fácil. I want you to go ahead and practice this. We are going to read the article about activities to keep employees happy. Discuss if the sentences below are true or false and correct the false one. Primero, first, number one, we are going to read. Number one, organize your classes. Number two, celebrate birthdays. Number three, paintball. Number four, guess who, right? Those are four activities that they doing that in the, you know, in the company to keep employees happy, right? So I want you to read these four activities, right? Read the four activities, solo lea. Eso es lo único que tienen que hacer, right? La asistente, thank you, eh, Daniela. Todos están en la página 34. Váyanse a la página 34, por favor. 
Mientras ustedes están en la, en la página 34, yo paso a suspensión. Enciendan su cámara. Amén. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Eh, presente. Brenda Yamilete Estrada Torres. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Fátima jo Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente. Thank you. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, Tich. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Jaira Donis Mártir Molina. Jaira Donis. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente, teacher. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Miriam Arelí Romero Luna. Sandra Maristela Cepeda Alfaro. Present. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Presente. Thank you very much. We're just going to put here. Teacher, and me. No la mencioné. <laughs> Marina <laughs> Vanessa Vázquez Romero. <laughs> Present. <laughs> okay, thank you, Marina. Ya la sacaron de la lista. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Now, did you finish reading? ¿Terminaron de leer? No, no yet. No yet, teacher. Circle the words that you don't know. Circule las palabras que no saben. No me van a decir que no las conocen todas, porque conocen varias. ¿Okay? Pero las que son bien difíciles, márquenlas. Búsquenlas después en su diccionario. Creen su vocabulario. Can you explain me what it means prime target? The prime target. Okay. The prime target uh, is pretty much the like the main objective. Right? The main objective, the most important objective. That will be a prime target. But it's not the same as a goal. Yes, objective goal. Yes. Is, for example, have you seen, have you seen like, uh, there are some games, right, let me put something here. There are some games that they have, what they do in those games, is that they have like a small arrows, right? And they throw the arrow to the target, right? So that's the goal, right? They put it here on the walls, right? They put it on the wall on the walls, and then they have to hit the prime target, right? That will be the like a goal. 
In this case, since they are, they are playing pinball, right? If they are looking for you, you might be the prime target, el objetivo. Uh -huh. they, they, they are using that word because are, they are talking about a game. So they use that word to mix the, the idea and the game and explain the, yeah. the, the situation. Yes, but for example, you can use it in the company. In the company, for example, if you work in, usually in call centers, right? They have targets to reach. A target is a goal. For example, if you work in sales, sales means ventas, you say trabaja en ventas, you have a target, right? You have a prime target. Okay, Anna, your prime target this month is 100 sales. You said, va a renunciar porque nunca le va a compartir. Se va a ir para su casa, right? <laughs> right, so that's a target, right? Aplica para todo, prácticamente target. Very good. Okay, ¿Ya leímos? ¿Sí? Ok, very good. Now, after... It's hot. It's raining, but it's hot. So it's crazy. Now, we have here the first one. Tell me... Um, no quiero que me lean. Quiero que me digan la idea principal de lo que han leído. Tell me, please, Daniela. What is organized yoga class about? What is it about? Organized yoga classes. What did you read? ¿Qué leyó? Eh, yoga helps eh, alleviate stress, calm eh. the mind, uh -huh. and release calm tension. And release tension. Okay. I like that. Yes, it's actually really good. Very much. <laughs> okay, very good. So we have yoga classes. What else do you remember about yoga classes, Sandra? No me lea. Dígame qué entendió. Yo ya lo leí, pero así que no me digas. It's for the feeling very... Um, the better feeling the employees. Okay, it's for employees to feel better. Excellent. Ah, to feel better. To feel better. You say, ah, I feel better now. Ya me siento mejor. I feel better. Right? Excellent, Sandra. Very good. Now, second one. Number two, Marina. Celebrate birthdays. What is that about? Celebrate birthdays. Um, is day a special day? Is the mm -hmm. care uh, the person care the this day? Por así decirlo. Um, okay, is to take care of that person. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the birthday. Very good. What else can you tell me about celebrate birthday, Karen Janet? In, in, in work is important. 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 Uh -huh. Important. Important. <laughs> important. important. Uh, get employees I, happy. <laughs> uh -huh. It is important. What? What is important? Celebrate, eh, sí, cel celebrate birthdays and employees. Okay, it is important to celebrate employees' birthdays. Very good, Karen. And okay. It is important to celebrate employees' birthdays. Repeat. Ay, <laughs> No se ponga nerviosa porque no se ponga nerviosa, ¿ok? It is important to celebrate. It is important to celebrate. Escucha y después vamos a repetir. It okay. is important to celebrate employees' birthdays. Repeat. 
it is important to to celebrate employees birthdays 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 yeah, Exactly, very good. Very good. Todos deberían estar repitiendo, nadie repite. Recuerden, si alguien está practicando pronunciación, todos deberían de practicar también. Right? Very good. Now, paintball. What is paintball about, Joanna? Uh, paintball is an activity out of the office. And okay. this activity. Uh, can help the employees to to I forgot how do you say um liberar release oh. release okay thank you oh thank you uh, this activity can can to help to release the stress um, it sounds very interesting. It sounds very interesting. Okay, very good. What do you know about this, Gerardo? Paintball. I, I understand this paintball is one activity in the work and to let it go the stress in the work. And it's important because the stress uh, not led to work uh, or not let uh, have to have an improve to the employees. Okay, it helps employees to improve. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Gerardo and Fatima. And the last one, guess who? Guess who? Anna, what is guess who about? They are talking about that you you take a picture about your I that's that's I understood that you uh, take a picture about uh, take a take a your work a picture of a son of the workers and you put them in a wall and then you are going to say something special for them or you are going to give them for all the kids the pictures kids uh, you are going to give them best wishes okay very good yeah very good very good anna excellent work jonathan what else do you know about this yes who so I think it's important because uh, um, West Wall uh, help that the finally the people can um, getting a free a free mind about the work and the spirit is a better uh, giving a better opportunity that uh, maintains some good. Um, Ambiente, I can say ambiente. Environment. Okay. Environment. Uh, environment and a uh, few more time. Very good. Excellent. Thank so you so I, much. So I, I made a mistake. The, the photo is about ourselves when we were kids, not of our, of our daughter or, or son. It's about ourselves. <laughs> Exactly. Very good, Anna. Excellent. No, that's perfect. You corrected yourself. Very good. Right? Now, we have this, this uh, reading. See, Fatima, what's your question? Um, what is the meaning of boost tomorrow in the item? The celebration. What is the meaning of what? Boot tomorrow. Uh, in which yes. paragraph? One, two, three, four. Number two. Number Our two. business games. Oh, boost morale. Boost morale. Yeah, boost and morale. Uh, in the other one is the um, number three paintball for staff morale. Ah, okay. Or, or very good. Morale. Morale or morale is exactly the same as in Spanish, right? It's moral, right? So the self-esteem, what we have inside. Sometimes when we are employees, 
right? We are not always happy. Sometimes we're like, oh, I don't want to work today. It's Monday. I want to go home. I don't get enough money, right? So the employee's morale, it's down. So what you have to do is to boost the employee morale by doing other activities, right? Boost the staff morale, right? To make them feel better, to make them feel happy, right? Supposedly, after these activities, you are going to feel better, excited, and you will want to work, right? So that's boost. Boost is bring up, put something up, right? You can use it also uh, on your phones. You know, if you want to make a call, sometimes you don't have money, right, on your phone. So you have to put a boost of money so you can make a call. Boost siempre va a significar elevar, right? Elevar, incrementar, right? Very good. Thank you for your questions, Fatima. You. And the staff morale, staff is personal. The, all the people, for example, at Inglés Corporativo, we have like 100 people in the staff, like 100 employees in our staff, right? We have a big company, a, big, a lot of teachers working. Very good, thank you, Fatima. Another question? Otra pregunta? ¿Ya hay preguntas? ¿Seguros? Yes, teacher. Eh, okay. eh, number one, what is the mire? Underestimate. <laughs> Under, underestimate. No. Underestimate. Don't underestimate. For example, some people, right? Eh, how can I explain this? Underestimate. Mm. No, no quiero entrar a, 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 a cosas feministas ahorita. Y me amo. Underestimate. Okay. Some people underestimate the, the use of tea to feel awake. I just say, nah. With tea, you are not going to feel awake. Only with coffee. Drink coffee, not tea. Tea is not good to be happy, be awake, right? Only coffee, right? And then you drink tea and tea, you feel good, you feel awake. You are not oh, sleepy anymore because you drank tea, right? And for example, he says that don't underestimate yoga because some people say, mm -mm, Yoga is not good. It's not good for the body. But when you try yoga, it's actually really good for your body, right? But some people say, mm -mm, don't, don't try yoga. It's not working for your body. Go to the gym, right? So that would be underestimate. What? Como que no me interesa. Mm, no, 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 no. no. Um, let's see, let me give you another example. For example, when you have uh, when you have a person that is short, right, like me, I am very short, right, and you have a tall, tall person, sometimes people feel that the tall person can do things better than the short person. So you are underestimating the short person because she is or he is short. But sometimes they can do the same things, right? What do you think is underestimate? Sobreestimar. Okay. Not subestimar, exactly. Subestimar, right? Then super, no, no sobreestime, right? Right, subestimar, exactly, very good. When you think that something is not good, but actually is, 
Right? Las personas dicen no es bueno, pero porque no lo han intentado. Right? So you have to try first. Right? Very good. Now, any other question? Yes, in number yes. two, mm -hmm. eh, then this sim, simple act, act no let, let gain, special. Simply acknowledging special Acknowledge. occasions. Acknowledge mm -hmm. is, for example, let's say, eh, today, right, Aide is not here in the class. So I am acknowledging that she's not here. Right, I understand, right, that she's not here. Sometimes, uh, for example, if uh, Anna, she gives me a lot of answers, right? She said, oh, this is the answer, number one, number two. So I said, Anna, you are on fire today, right? So I am acknowledging that she's a good student. Huh? Aus como ausente. No. No. What did you say, General? Congratulations to Anna. <laughs> <laughs> yes, award. <laughs> what, Anna? <laughs> like an award. It is like an award, yes. Right? But it's like I am paying attention that she's doing a good job. And I'm saying it out loud. Right? For example, if I say, oh, um, Sandra, you have a new hairdo today. You look beautiful. I am acknowledging her new hair, her new hairstyle, her do. Oh, Fatima, today you have a straight hair. Look at her hair, right? So I am acknowledging she did something new on her hair. I am paying attention and I'm saying it out loud, right? What do you think it is acknowledging? Como reconocimiento. Exactly, very good. Reconocer algo, right? Puede ser algo académico, algo de trabajo, right? Algo físico, right? Algo emocional, cualquier cosa que ustedes reconozcan de alguien y se lo digan. Oh, Katia, you look happy today. Right? I'm acknowledging that she's happy, right? Because I see, sueño tengo. Okay, so that would be acknowledging, reconociendo. Very good, Daniela, thank you. Thank right? You. Now, we're going to go to the true and false questions, always in the same page. We have five questions or five statements about the reading. Number one. Number one, Teresa, read number one and tell me if it is true or false. True. Mm -hmm. Okay, léalo por favor y me dice si es true or false. Okay. Yoga has an important effect on employee. Mm -hmm. uh, True or false? Yeah, yeah, true, true. The answer is true. Okay, very good. Right? Is this correct, everyone? Yoga has a good effect to them, please? Yes, very good. Now, number yeah. two, yeah. Juana Cristela, number two. Yoga. Cristela. Yoga. Tension, but it doesn't call the mean. Okay. Yoga releases tension, releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. Repeat. Yoga releases release tension, but it doesn't call the mean. The mind. The mind. The mind. Excellent. So is it true or false? False. False. Okay. Is this correct, guys? False. 
Yes, it's correct. It is false because it comes to mind. Katya, tell me number three. Based on the reading, special occasion are not important. True or false? Mm, false. False, okay. Based on the reading, special occasions are not important. It's false because we're talking about celebrate birthdays, right? So it is false. Let's see, Veronica Esmeralda, number four. Workers. Veronica. Veronica Esmeralda. Se fue. ¿Por qué se fue? Let's see. Jair también se fue. Sandra. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Workers can play table inside the office. The answer is false because it's out of the office. Out of the office. Outside the office. Out of the office. Very good, Sandra. And let's continue with. Let's see, let's see, Marina. Number five. Yes, teacher, but I don't see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Este, no tengo abierto aquí el libro. Este, eh, y no alcanzo a leer, teacher. ¿Será que se puede subir un rati, un poquitito? No. No, sí, puta, no puedo. No. <ríe> Espérame, teacher, es que cerré el libro. Y lo estaba viendo. Eh, no, no se preocupe. Dice Fátima que le va a ayudar. Liz. Está bien. Ok. Thank you, Fátima. Number five. Childhood forest can offend employees. And um, that is false. It is false. I'm not sure. According to the reading, it's false. In real life, it might affect employees. Yo no llevaría mi foto que me le hagan Right? It might offend employees. In real life. According to the reading, estos, estas preguntas son based on the article, right? Based on the reading, right? Very good. So we have finished this. Any questions about this? No, let's continue with another exercise. I'm going to come with exercise, chicos. Now, we have practice here with the book. We're going to practice with something else. Right? Let us just remember that we practice this, right? And right now, we're going to do a small exercise. Look what it says here. It says, put the verse in brackets into the present continuous, or simple present where possible. Now, this is a small letter, right? From Sandra Bello to the prime minister, right? Now, she's, she sent the letter, right? And she's writing the letter in present continuous and in simple present. Now, you are going to analyze the letter and you're going to see when you have to use simple present or when do you have to use present progressive. Okay? Ahora, aquí es donde vamos a aplicar esta función de chicos. Chicos y chicas. Okay? Aquí es donde vamos a aplicar esta función. Right? Porque ahí no dice ocupar present progressive, ocupar simple present. Tienen que leer y tratar de entender qué es lo que dice la carta. Right? Y la contestan. Right? For example, veamos la primera, le puedo ayudar con la primera. Dice, Dear Prime Dear Prime Minister, I, to you, because I more and more worried about the police, the policies of the present government. When we say I, to you, what do you think that is happening? 
Should I put I write to you? I writing. I, I am writing. writing. I am writing. Writing. At this moment, right? I am writing to you because, right? I am writing to you because. Then we have the verb become. Become. Right? Convertir. Uh -huh. Become and convertir. Yes, that's correct. I am becoming more and more worried. I am becoming more and more worried about the policies of the present government. Now, I am becoming more and more worried about the policies of the present government. Now, when we say I am becoming, right? Is that temporary or new habit? Is a temporary action? Is it an action happening in the future? Is it a defin the definite fixed plan? Situations which are slowly changing? Repeated actions that irritate the speaker? Situations which are slowly changing. What? Situations which are slowly changing. Okay, situations which are slowly changing. Now, do we use become here? Is it become right here? No, right? Can I say becoming? Yes, I can say become, right? I am becoming more and more worried about the policies of the present government, right? And then you will continue reading this and try to understand the English of the letter, right? Yo sé que le va a costar un poquito, pero de eso se trata. Porque los ejercicios del libro ya se fijaron que así lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Súper rápido. Ya los tenemos hechos. Ahora vamos a ir un poquito más allá para expandir nuestros conocimientos. Be simple, simple present in past. No, no podemos utilizar simple present in past. In simple past, we use simple past. I remembered the promises you made. So in that case, it would be, I remember. Yo recuerdo. Ella está escribiendo su carta en presente y en presente continuo. En ese momento, ¿se recuerdan? Yo les dije, vamos a utilizar esto. Right? In present continuous or simple present. Esos son los dos únicos tiempos que vamos a utilizar. If you have questions about the meaning of the words, you can ask questions. This is the letter from the uh, the embassy of the United States that yesterday read to El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> Look. 
looks like it, right? <laughs> <¿Se pare? laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> Todo agarran en el aire. But not say, say. Yes, teacher. Excellent.
Who else finish? Anna finished too. Very good. Marina finished. Katia, Daniela, Karen. No. No? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's start checking here the answers. It doesn't matter if we make mistakes, let's try, okay? Now, we have the first one, then we have the second sentence. Uh, what do you have there in the next one, Marina? I? Uh, I, the, uh, I, I am remember the Promise the promise you made when you came to power to power. Okay. okay. I am remembering the promises you made when you came to power. Okay. I will ask you one thing, Marina. Can you please go to the verse I gave you that you cannot use with present progressive? And it says, yeah. usually you don't Remember. use this verse. Uh -huh. What Pero does it I, say about I you? am not teacher, but I say I am remember. Okay. Only remember. Yes. I am remember or? Remember. Okay. I remember. Okay. I remember. Uh -huh. I yes. remember. Remember. Very good. Yes. Yes. I remember. I see. Very good. I remember the promises. You made when you came to power, but continue, uh, Katia. Um, the pro. But, um, but, but what um, is happening now? But what is happening now? Nobody knows. Nadie sabe. Nadie supo. What is happening now? Let me see here. What, what is happening now? Right? Let's continue there. This is big up to... You're going to tell me the answers up to here. Anna? Prices are getting up. Are going, going up. <coughs> Sorry. Prices are going up. Mm -hmm. Unemployment is rising. Unemployment is rising. Mm -hmm. Very good. Unemployment is Rising. Right. Very good. Continue there. Karen. Guess rice. Rice, 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 rice. Subiendo. It's the same as going up. But in English, uh, we avoid repetition. We avoid repetition, uh, so we use synonyms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Thank uh -huh. you, Daniela. Continue there. Uh, Karen, crying. Crying are getting. Crying are getting. Yeah. Worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Crying. Is it plural or singular? Ay, excuse me. Cry is getting. It's getting. Because mm -hmm. it is singular and it is uncountable. Crime is singular. singular and uncountable, okay? Very good. Crime is getting worse and worse. And what else, uh, Karen? You. And you. Uh, is, no. And you are doing. You are doing, exactly. You are doing. Nothing. 
nothing uh, about it. Nothing about it. Right? Very good. You are doing nothing about it. Continue there and give me the answers for this too. Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, no está Jonathan. Gerardo, give me the answers right now, please. Uh, I know that other countries in Europe have got similar problems. Mm -hmm. and, and I suppose something, mm -hmm. something are outside your control. Okay, very good. Now, listen to me and then you repeat, okay? I know that other countries in Europe have got similar problems and I suppose some things are outside your control. Okay. I know that other countries in Europe have got similar problems and I suppose something are outside your control. Very good. Europe. Europe. Mm, you. E Europe. Europe. Excellent. Thank you, Gerardo. Very good. Uh, Anna, do you have a question? No, 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 no. Okay. Que le veo la manita levantada. Pero se la va. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let's continue with. Eh, Teresa, Teresa, what do you have? Teresa, but, but you are, you are always, uh -huh. you are always uh, saying, saying, uh -huh. it, it, it. No, not. Uh huh. Eh. What is the conjugation of not and be? Verb to be? It, it am, it is, or it are? Are. It are. And. Eh. Are. It am my cell phone. It is my cell phone. It am my cell phone. What is correct? It is my cell phone. It am my cell phone. It are my cell phone. What is correct? Is. It is. is. Okay, it is. Very good. And in negative? We just put not, right? It is not. It is not. It is your, not your fault. Your fault. Uh -huh, very good. It's an strange time. This. It is not your fault. Okay, very good. Here, uh, it is not your fault. Continue there. Uh, thank you, Teresa. Uh, Daniela, you. You're gonna tell me the answers I'm up to here, okay? You are always. You are always, uh-huh. Making. 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 Excuses. And I particularly hate that. Hate that. Excellent. I particularly hate that. Yo especialmente odio esas cosas, ¿ok? I particularly hate that. En particular, me cae mal. Right? Very good. And tell me the last sentence here. Eh, Sandra Maricela. ¿Por qué te quedas callada, Pepe? Ay, I... Uh -huh. I am tired. I am tired. Uh -huh. Of having hearing. Hearing. Excuses. Excuses. 
The last one. I am one wanting. I am wanting. Okay. Action. I am wanting action. Now, okay. I want you to look at this, Miss Sandra. Um, look at the verbs. Lea los verbos. ¿Qué dice ahí? Um, I am one. Excellent. I am one. Okay. Can I use the verb be with simple present? I want action. I want one action. Exacto. Cuando estamos en simple present, no utilizamos el verbo to be. ¿Ok? Si vamos a utilizar el verbo okay. to be, sería como it is, I am, solamente el verbo to be. Right? Pero no combinado okay. con un verbo. Ok, there we go. ¿Les quedó claro? Vamos a hablar como el de la caricatura. Right? Very good. <laughs> right. Now, do you have questions? ¿Cómo estuvo este ejercicio? Bien chivo, Bien bonito, This is real very, English. Very right? difficult. Very difficult. Exactly. Very good. So I'm doing my job right. Very good. Right? <laughs> now, these are the type of exercises. Recuerden que a veces hacemos oraciones. Right? Pero hacer una oración es más fácil que... Aplicar esa oración a un texto más grande. Y eso es lo que acaban de hacer. Right? Muy bien. Very good. Excellent job. ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de la carta, acerca de eh, los verbos? ¿No? Teacher. Yes. Eh, sorry, but I have a question. Uh -huh. eh, no usamos el am con el verbo no. Cuando se dice I know. No, I know that other countries. Pero cuando está hablando de tired, es I'm tired. I am no tired. O sea, no es en los mm. verbos que quieren dar a entender un sentimiento, un sentir o algo. No tendría que... Mm, no, ¿por porque, porque lleva tired, el am? tired es un adjetivo. Ah, Estoy cansada. Sí. Eso uh, ok, ok. I am. Oh, bueno, es un participio, no es un adjetivo, en realidad es un, un, pas, un participio. En inglés. Uh, que nos dice okay. cómo usted se siente. Uh, ok. Good question, okay. Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta? What is the meaning of faithfully, like esperanzado? Oh, oh. Mm, yes, yes, that would be the, the like, faith is, for example, uh, I believe in God, the, that is faith. That is faith, uh -huh, that is faith. Faithfully, so I faithfully believe that there will be change in El Salvador, right? Fehacientemente, con fe. Mm -hmm. Faithfully. Very good. That's a great question, Ana. Another question. Yes, ahora se la contestó. <laughs> you see, you're on fire tonight. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, any other question? Cristela, Jonathan, Gerardo, Sandra, ¿tienen preguntas? Teresa, Carolina, Karen. Uh -huh. ¿Te No, teacher. No, okay. Now, teacher. Yes. What's the meaning of faithfully? Faithfully. Faithfully. Uh, Anna is going to tell you the meaning. Ella lo acaba de decir. Uh, uh, Anna, okay. what is with, faithfully? <laughs> with, with our faith in God that the country will have change. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. So these are well, we have more exercises for tomorrow. Right? Esta semana vamos a hacer bastantes ejemplos, bastantes ejercicios. Okay. Tomorrow we're gonna do this one, simple present, present, progressive. We're gonna do also questions. 
Right? Vamos a practicar preguntas mañana también. Right? We're going to have a lot of exercises porque y nos lo vamos a dejar para el viernes para ir avanzando con los diferentes eh, temas que vamos a ir trabajando. ¿Ok? No. Any other questions? ¿Tenemos alguna otra pregunta? No. No. Ok. Veamos, vamos a ver aquí rapidito la asistencia. Pero necesito ver algo con ustedes. Un momento. Personas o personas, estudiantes, estudiantes que van al día con sus actividades, quiere decir que van haciendo, eh, que llevan hasta este día eh, por lo menos 40% de sus tareas de la semana 3. ¿okay? 40% de las tareas, bueno, Cristela ya avanzó toda la semana, Daniela igual. Fátima ya lleva su más de 40%, al igual que Gerardo, Aide de la Paz igual, Karen Janet ya lleva más del 40% de la semana, Katia Carolina igual, lo único que Katia me debe semana 1 y semana 2, tiene que enviármelas para enviarle una carta en esa forma, ¿ok? Eh, Marina ya lleva más de la semana, más de lo, de lo, neces de lo necesario de la semana 3, eh, Miran Arely, me le falta. Quiero ver qué más ya completó la semana 3 o lleva por lo menos 40%. Solamente. Ahí. Las personas que mencioné ya avanzaron en la semana 3. Los que no mencioné, vamos por favor trabajando eh, con las tareas de la semana 3 para ir eh, completando sus notas y que el viernes, por favor, no estemos a la carrera, ok, porque ya la otra semana ya terminamos y tenemos que ir al día con cada una de las actividades. Ahora la asistencia, Analicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Brenda Yamilet Estrada Torres. Presente, Ticha. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, Ticho. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Jair Adonis Mártir Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Juana Cristela Alceda García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Presente. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arelí Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Presente. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente, teacher. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Gómez. Ok, entonces chicos, hemos terminado con la clase. Por favor, revisen. En, la, en la, el módulo 2, ¿verdad? Sus actividades, eh, no les estoy dejando discusiones para que completen sus actividades a tiempo, aunque deberíamos. Okay. ¿Hay alguna pregunta que tengamos acerca del Simple Present y Present Progressive? Nos queda un minuto. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿No? ¿Seguros? Ok. Este día se va a quedar Carla Susana, se supone, pero no ha venido a clases ningún día, entonces queda un espacio abierto de 10 a 10 y 10, por si alguien tiene alguna pregunta extra de la actividad de la clase hasta este día. Si no, nos vemos mañana. Uh -huh. Yo solo tengo una preguntita. Los... ¿Sí? Fíjese que yo me dice de la tarea de la semana pasada. Eh, uh -huh. A mí me aparecen en verde, pero hay una que no me aparecía chequecito y no sé por qué estará. ¿Le puedo compartir la pantalla? Sí, sí, me puede compartir pantalla. Ahorita. Ok. Sí, yo entendería que sí la había hecho. Permítame que no me Teacher, uh, I leave the class. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. Ahora sí okay. podemos decir good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ok, enseñé para abajito. Quiero ver. Tarea 10. 
Pero si tiene chequecito. ¿Del enviar? Sí. ¿Cuál era la que no tenía chequecito? ¿Del enviar? Fíjese que... Vaya, mil. Correcto, 20 de 20 le parece. O sea que sí lo había enviado. Sí, sí lo he enviado. La que no he enviado es la semana 3. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. En la semana 3, para este día, eh, debe tener ya eh, por lo menos dos tareas, la del lunes y la del martes. Ya mañana debe tener hecha la del miércoles. Y así sucesivamente. Para que el viernes solamente tenga una tarea que hacer después de la clase, o si puede responderla antes, la hace antes. Sí, aquí aparece que ninguna, ¿verdad? Exacto. Vaya. Ajá. Buenas Por noches. Eso no la mencioné. <ríe> Buenas sí. noches, Ana. <ríe> ok.